Am I the arsehole? For telling my son that village you wanted doesn't exist since you burnt it to the ground. This is a bit complicated, I am a stepmom to five wonderful kids. I became their stepmom when the oldest was nine. I adopted all of them but one and that is Nick. He never wanted me to be his mom which is fine. The moment he turned 18 he made it very clear he doesn't care about me at all. I wasn't invited to his wedding, any holidays and so on if he was hosting. My last straw was when he told me that he will come to Christmas that I was hosting if I left. So we are very low contact. Along with that, he has blown up every sibling relationship. He has two girls now and he called me up. This was a surprise and we started talking. After a while he started complaining about not getting help at all to raise his kids. He asked me to watch them on Sunday and step up as a grandparent. I told him the reason the village doesn't exist to raise his kids is due to him burning that village down. He called me a jerk and hung up. My husband is iffy on the situation but told me it's my call since I would be the one to watch the kids most of the time since he travels often for work. So I am posting here. Not the asshole. He called to complain he isn't getting help, he didn't call saying he regrets that he messed up his relationships. He wants something from you, he doesn't want you. This sucks, please prioritize yourself and the people in your life who actually care about you. Not the asshole. Your stepson burned down the village and burned the bridge leading to the village. It doesn't sound like he ever made any apologies for the brutal slaps in the face he gave you. But now he wants you to babysit? Nope. Not the asshole. If he trusts you enough as a person to help raise his kids, the problem was never you. The problem was always Nick. What has your husband been doing for the last however many years? Does he have a relationship with his son? How did you all function before Nick turned 18? Where is Nick's mother? There's too much missing here but based on just the information it appears Nick is meeting the consequences of his choices. Not the asshole maybe? Info how does his father deal with this? Like, did he go to his kid's wedding? What was his reaction when Nick said he'd come home for Christmas if you weren't there? I mean, not the asshole, obviously, but it kind of feels like your husband should have stepped in here at some point. Not the asshole. Actions have outcomes. He chose a course of action that eroded any family connections he had over the years. He can't come back now and complain that those connections aren't around to help him now that he needs them. This was his choice. He now has to accept the outcomes of his actions. Not the asshole. There is no way I would get involved with him or his kids. He's made it very clear for years that you mean nothing to him. The man wouldn't come to Christmas unless you left. And you're the host hell no. I love your line that the village doesn't exist because he burned it down. Very true. Your husband shouldn't be so ambivalent and solidly have your back. Info what is your relationship like with your other four kids or rather, your four kids it sounds like you never adopted Nick. Also, has Nick ever said why he doesn't like you? As a mom, it seems really weird that he'd want to leave his kids with a woman he clearly despises. Leaning toward not asshole, but I'm a little confused. Not the asshole. And I'm not sure it mattered what his side of the story is. My sister's friend has a toxic mum and we all support her in that opinion. However, she is still asking for babysitting and cash off mum and then complaining about how toxic mum is and criticizing the way mum provides childcare etc. My point is even if OP was abusive which we don't know, you can't have both. You get the right to be low or no contact and despise your family member or you have to suck it up if you want help from that person. Not the asshole he has assumed he is far more important than he is. Thought you would be desperate for any scraps of acknowledgement so that he can use you. Good job telling him no, never back down. No, don't watch that prick's kids. Not the asshole. He's shopping for free child care. People have every right to choose whom they associate with, but they don't get to come and go from your life at their whim and convenience. 
he never saw you as his mom, and now wants you to step up as a grandparent just because he needs someone to watch his kids. Not the asshole. He must be desperate. Makes you wonder how Nick burned all his other bridges. Not the asshole. It is unfortunate for him, but it was his choice. My guess is that he called because he wanted a reason to blame you. I don't deny Nick's right to dislike OP intensely, that is up to him, same as it's up to him to go North Carolina with OP and argue with all his siblings if he wishes. But actions have consequences. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It is bit hard babysitting if you are not allowed in the room. Also those kids don't know you, if Nick wants you to babysit, then he needs to start coming over for Christmas and dinner and try to be a part of the family. I would give him one chance to rebuild the village, just one, it means coming over for Christmas, letting you know the girls but it will take years before the trust is back. Not the asshole. He is a suprema. Not the asshole. It was his choice and his right to not be adopted as a child, no one should hold that against him. However, how he's treated you and his sibs since becoming an adult is his choice also. You owe him nothing, good for you for telling him he's reaping the consequence of his own actions. Not the asshole. He burned his bridges. Not the asshole. He exhibits zero contrition but wants you to help him w the kids he brought into the world. He needs therapy. Not the asshole you can't burn bridges and then expect them to be there when you realize you actually need one. My husband is iffy on the situation. WTF? How can he be iffy about someone he supposedly loves being treated so poorly by his own son for so many years? It's not like those insults were veiled. Sure, his son is entitled to his opinion, but his actions crossed a line and were hurtful. He can hire a babysitter. And hubby needs to get off the fence and be more supportive. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, not the asshole, not the asshole, he regrets nothing. He just wants free babysitting. Not the asshole. He made his relationship towards you very clear, very early on. Nothing to see here. Move along. Not the asshole. He's a man in his forties now. Ample time to get over any teenage resentment he must have had and work on repairing relationships before he needed something from you. To be sure, kids behaving like jerks as a response to family trauma isn't unusual or particularly their fault it's the adult that gets judged. I, too, would recommend therapy. Not the asshole this is a situation created by his wants, and he doesn't get to ignore that to please his needs now. He needs to realize why his relationship with his family is the way it is, before you can work on bettering your relationships as a family. Not the asshole. You reap what you sow. Typo.